A lot of people get upset when they read the Old Testament because they don't understand how God could bring the children of Israel out of Egypt and how He could send them into the land of Canaan and how He could command them to kill everybody and everything in the lands that they were dispossessing. But there's two things you have to remember. Number one, God is the author and the owner of every life on earth. The Scripture says in the book of Job that if He withdrew His Spirit and His breath, all mankind would perish together and man would return to the dust. The only reason that we have life is because God in His mercy keeps giving it to us. We are all objects of God's mercy by the very fact that we exist. He's the gracious and compassionate God. He's full of loving kindness. If you do not obey Him, if you do not listen to Him, if you do not follow Him, then you'll suffer the consequences of your choices. That's why God's waiting now. How many of you ever, ever listen to the news or turn on the TV or listen to the radio and hear what's going on in the world? And you just can't understand why God doesn't do something about that. Why? How can God let that go on? How can God let that happen? Well, it's because He is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. And He is not slow in keeping His promises. Some count slowness. But He is wanting to draw all men to Himself. And He's wanting them to open up and to see Him, to know Him, to love Him. And so He holds back His judgment. But there comes a point in time where God says, okay, time's up. It's over.